Hey you guys, Linwood here. Today I am going to show you how to do the Hope Knot. So stay tuned and thumbs up if you like it. Let me just move closer real quick so you can see it. Here we go. So if you have a look here, the reason why I ended up naming it this is because it really greatly favors those uh, cancer cause ribbons or the ribbons for awareness, things of that nature. And so I really wanted to make sure to um, give it a good name that really embodied what I felt like the knot was all about. And so um, to me, if nothing else, regardless of what the cause is, the thing that ties them all together is our hope for a greater tomorrow. So I hope you guys like it and uh, stay tuned. If you haven't caught my last video, you can click right here. Let's get started. All right, so I've got my blade on my right side, my tail on my left side, and I'm just gonna warn you to start off with that this tie is rather laborious and uh, difficult to do. So this is May, and um, if you're wanting to wear this for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, you have until October to be able to get it together. Hopefully it should not take you anywhere near that long, but for some, I'm sure it might. So um, I just went ahead and got started and didn't even tell y'all about it. Um, you're basically going to take your tail end, after you've done your power crease, toss it over your blade and bring it up and through the center. You're going to now go ahead and fold your corners together, smooth side facing out, and just insert your finger right on in there. Wrap it around the back side, continue wrapping around to the front, bring it up, around, over, and through the center again. Try not to stab yourself in the throat like I just did. Then you're going to go ahead, take the tail end, insert under this loop here, through and under the other loop, and pull it right on through there. Bring it around the back and up. We're just going to set that off to the side for now. So I'm going to now go ahead and insert right here in this hole. Oh, that sounded terrible. Um, then I'm going to just pull this loop right on over. So basically what I'm trying to do is get underneath both loops. From there I'm going to just bring the tail end of the tie right on through where I just put my finger and slide that baby all the way through there. Here we go. And from here I'm just going to take my tie turn that tail. So now my seam is facing outward and just continue to pull it just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to bring it up and around the back. Let me turn just a bit more. There we go. Up and around the back. We're going to go ahead and get this baby just right. All right, hold on, there's something in my eye. Okay, then we've got a little loop right back here underneath the tie, so I'm just going to insert my finger there. Take the tail end and place it right through that loop provided. Where's the end of my tie? Here it is. Sorry, everything is in reverse when I'm filming these. Okay, I'm just going to pull that nice and snug. And let me pull this baby down, readjust my tie here. And as you guys can see, with a little bit of adjusting, which not too much, you now have the Hope Knot. And it looks just like one of those little ribbons there. So let me know what you guys think in the comment box below. Of course, if you know me and you follow me on any of my social media networks, you know that I am all about uh, basically positivity, hope, and faith. And um, so if you like it, let me know in the comment box below. As always, please follow me on Instagram at who sees this. And you can also check me out. Ah, Jesus almost died. You can check me out on Facebook at www.facebook.com backslash who sees this official. And if you see me in my next post and I want to cast, it's because I fell and died. Never do videos on slick fours and socks. <laughs> Until next time, you guys, take care. You're fancy now. Bye.